Let's take a look around how the wealthy go cruising and take a peek at cruise ship suites that cost up to $70,000 for one week's cruising. That's a staggering amount of money. That's enough to buy a fancy car, an apartment, or even a house in many countries. I'm Gary Bembridge. I'm going to take you around a whole range of amazing cruise ship suites. So if one day you win the lottery, these are perhaps the way that you are going to want to cruise. Meantime, it's a bit of voyeurism. These are all cruise suites that I have either toured or in fact, one of which I have actually cruised on. I'll let you know during the video which one of those it is. We're going to start by taking a look at the cheapest of these amazing cruise suites and work our way up to the ones that cost $70,000 a week. One of the nicest and more affordable of all of these suites is onboard Norwegian cruise lines and within what they call the Haven concept. The most recent of those that I managed to experience and tour was on Norwegian Encore. The Haven is a ship within a ship. This is the premium area onboard Norwegian cruise lines. In there you have a dedicated lounge, you have a concierge, you have a swimming pool area and you also have a restaurant which all sweet guests can go in. There's a wide range of different types of suites within the Haven, which range from a standard suite, which is going to set you back about $1,000 a day, so about $7,000 for the week, up to a Haven spa suite. The spa suites which have a jacuzzi, and that's going to cost you up to about $16,000 for a seven-night cruise. The Haven is really amazing, and it's one of the more affordable of all of the amazing types of suites. If you want to spend a little bit more money and have $14,000 to spend for a week-long cruise, that's $2,000 a day, I recommend you take a look at the amazing Princess Cruises Sky Suite. They've introduced these suites on board their new ships like the Sky Princess, Enchanted Princess, and all the ships after that. It makes a claim of having the largest balcony at sea, and it is an enormous balcony. These suites have a lounge area where one person can sleep, a little dining area. They have a master bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. They then have a second bedroom with bathroom as well. So this suite can actually sleep up to five people. So it's particularly good, I guess, if you're traveling as a family. The balcony enables you to look over the pool deck. You have 270 degree views. So it's great, particularly with movies under the stars. You can have your own private balcony. Beautiful suite, nice modern decor. So that's if you have $14,000 to spend on a week's cruise. If you want to spend even a little bit more and you have $18,000 to spend for a week's cruise, I recommend you take a look at Cunard and particularly the Queen Elizabeth and the Queen Victoria. These are magnificent, beautiful Queen's Grill suites. The one that I really like on board these ships is the Grand Suite. This is the, what they call their Q2. So in Queen's Grill, you have everything from a Q6, which is the entry level, which is going to cost you about the same as that Sky Suite. But the Q2 is their Grand Suite. And this is going to cost you around about $18,000 a week, so $2,500 a day. Queen's Grill is a bit like traveling first class. On the Cunard ships, they have their own restaurant, their own lounge and bar and concierge. But the Q2 Grand Suite, which is also known on the Queen Elizabeth as the Coronia Suite, has a big, beautiful lounge area. It has a massive big dining area. It has a separate bedroom with a huge big bathroom and dressing area. The decor is a bit more traditional, a bit more Art Deco-like, which reflects the rest of the ship. This is a really, really nice cabin, and the Queen's Grill is definitely a great way to cruise. So that is if you've got $18,000 to spend per week. A spend of $35,000 a week, so that's $5,000 a day, will get you a magnificent Royal Loft Suite on board many of the Royal Caribbean ships. The one that I visited and absolutely fell in love with was on board Anthem of the Seas. These beautiful loft suites are two levels, so they're duplex level. You have a lounge dining area, you have a massive big balcony, you have a games room, a sort of a media room with a beautiful bathroom down here. Up the stairs, you head into the master bedroom. The bed faces out towards the big glass windows, so you have magnificent views out to the rear of the ship. And you have a beautiful big bathroom, dressing room. This is a really beautiful, beautiful suite. The Royal Loft Suites are definitely one of my favorite types of suites. They're big, they're spacious, they have lots of room, modern decor, and a great location looking back as you sail away out from ports or at sea. That's going to cost you $35,000, $5,000 a day. Again, you can sleep about five people in here. So again, if you're traveling with family or with friends, you could perhaps yeah, reduce the 
cost per person. You'll also find the Royal Love Suites on many of their other ships of similar class to the Anthem of the Seas. So that includes the Oasis of the Sea, Allure of the Seas, Harmony of the Seas, Symphony of the Sea, and Ovation of the Seas. If you are traveling as a family, though, there is the Ultimate Family Suite. It's actually called that, the Ultimate Family Suite. And you'll find this on board the very newest of the Royal Caribbean ships, like the Symphony of the Seas. The Ultimate Family Suite is going to cost you at least $45,000 in the peak, peak, peak Christmas season. It could go up to as much as $80,000 for a week. This is mind-blowingly fantastic for families. You've got a downstairs area, which one of the first things you'll notice is a slide down from upstairs. You've got a whole games area with uh, air soccer. You've got a Lego wall out on the balcony. You can do some climbing activities. You can play table tennis. Upstairs, you have the master bedroom, bathroom. You also have a separate bedroom for the family. Like all of the big suites on Royal Caribbean, you have their genie, which is basically a butler. One of the big game changing styles of ship, which also has one of the most expensive suites on the seas at this point in time, is the Celebrity Edge class. You have Celebrity Edge, Celebrity Apex and more to come. Their iconic suite is going to set you back at least $70,000. This is a pretty magnificent and very modern suite. It is a huge big suite overlooking the bridge so you look out towards the forward and the bow of the ship you have this massive dining and lounge area you have a beautiful master bedroom with huge big beautiful glitzy bathroom you have a huge big terrace which has its own hot tub lots of areas to lay out on so just this is absolutely iconic and absolutely magnificent if you like kind of modern cruising you want to be on one of the sort of modern contemporary types of ships like the edge or Apex from Celebrity. This is going to cost you $70,000 a week at least. That's a staggering $10,000 a day. All of the suites that I've spoken about so far are on the classic cruising so that you can go to the Caribbean, the Med, wherever on those kind of ships. What if you want to go expedition cruising? Now expedition cruises certainly at the premium end, so if you're talking like your Seabourns, your Silver Seas, and Celebrity are pretty expensive anyway and tend to have sweet accommodation. But the best expedition suite in my view at sea is on another Celebrity ship, a very modern Celebrity ship in the Galapagos called Celebrity Flora. This really beautiful suite is known as the Penthouse Suite. The Penthouse Suite on here is pretty magnificent. I mean, this is a relatively small ship, but this is a big, big suite. You've got a lounge area, you've got a bedroom area, you've got a bathroom with scenic views. This is going to cost you around about $50,000 or more a week. So not as expensive as the previous one, but certainly at the top edge if you are going expedition cruising. If you win the lottery or you have loads of money, these are the sort of suites and the ways that you can cruise. You can spend as much as a very swanky, posh, brand new Zuti car or buying an apartment or in some countries a house as you can for cruising one week. Hope you've enjoyed taking a look inside some of these magnificent suites. I've had the opportunity to see all of those, but as I mentioned, I have actually cruised and stayed in one, and that is on the Queen Victoria Grand Suite or the Corona Suite. What I must admit though is it wasn't for a whole week. It was one of those mini cruises for a couple of nights, but did get to actually experience and cruise in that kind of cabin, and it really was pretty magnificent. One of the things I would certainly say if I was cruising in a suite is I probably want to go for a cruise which had lots and lots of sea days to get my money's worth. Hopefully you've enjoyed the look at how the other half lives and how you could be living if you win the lottery. Fingers crossed. Remember I have loads more videos packed full of advice and tips about all things cruising and travel so why don't you watch another one of those right now.